the show. Hey there, Heather. Hello there. It's Jeff Cutter. Glad to welcome you to Rata 16 coverage of the Legends Battle League um, playoffs. We have with you um, eight matches. The winners of each of these eight matches are automatically in the tournament for the final 32, like the double round robin. If if you actually if you actually won your group but you lose, you actually do have a good chance to jump in because you won your group. So you get all that. We're at Stewart Stadium for all four games. Temperature's cold. Anyway, uh, the last 16. So we have the 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 group, the B2 uh, team, the 08 Florida Gators versus the A1 champions, 86 Penn State. Uh, the D2, the D2 is 58 LSU against the winners of Group C, that's the 47 Michigan. The winners of Group F, 84 BYU Cougars, take on the winner of Group E, the 73 Northern Dame Irish. Um, H2, or runner up in Group H, the 1950 Tennessee um, Falls, take on the winners of Group G, the 74 Oklahoma Sooners. In the meantime, on the other side of the coin, you got the 88 um, Irish taking on the 1939. Texas A&M um, Aggies, well, 88 Northern Dame took second in Group E, 39 A&M took first in Group F. Group H, the, yeah, I think I mixed up the numbers. Yeah, the H1 winner is the 45 Army Squad, they'll take on 56 Oklahoma or G2. And the 69 Penn State, who were run up in Group H. A takes on the runners of Group B, the 90 Georgia Tech, and you see 73 Michigan, who took second in Group C, take on the winners of Group D, the 1934 Minnesota Golden Gophers. So obviously you win, you're in the final 32. Each group will have 10 teams qualified automatically. However, if you say, wait, 32. So the 11th place team in each of the three things will be written down. However, if the tiebreaker is by the amount of times your school has got it. So say we got like the 1947 Michigan squad alongside the 05 Texas squad from Group B and maybe Arkansas. Because Arkansas has fewer teams that made it to the three groups of 32, they, like, they didn't qualify for the round of 32, Arkansas, and maybe even Texas. So those guys would get in, Michigan would be left out. But anyway, here we go. We're going to do a dice roll to decide which matchup we go first with. And first up will be 84 BYU against 73 Nerd Day. So like to the votes. 73 Nerd Day has a 15 point favorite. BYU has Bobby Bosco, Liam White, Trevor Manich. Senator name has Luther Bradley, Russ Brown, or Drew Mahalik. The toss. And their name will get first. And their name gets first at Stuart Stadium. Next back, so we'll be at the 25. Bobby Bosco for BYU, the quarterback. The 84 team, the team that won the national title despite having to play in the Holiday Bowl, which was a December Bowl game, not a uh, New Year's Day Bowl game. Running backs to start, Lacking, Manuel, and Robert Parker. Line Kozlowski, Adam Haysburg, and line receivers. Tight end is David Mills. The offensive line for uh, BYU. Louis Wong, Craig Garrick, Trevor Manich, Robert Ade, and David Wright. And then you'll see the BYU um, defensive line. You see Liam Wade, Kirk Govea, Mark Allen, well, so you see the those guys. And 73 Nerd Game. You see the offensive line for Nerd Game. Jared DiNardo, who coached Nerd Game for a while, is there too. Mike Fanning, Russ Browner in the defensive line. With Jim Stock and Kevin Mosbach. Gary Potemba, Drew Mahalik, and Craig Collins are linebackers, defensive backs, Tim Rundick, Luke Bradley, Wickens, and Richard Barnett. Oh. 
first game. For their possession. I apologize. I have to do something. Hmm. We got Clements, Wayne Bullock, our best. I'll send you in the, in the backfield. Dave Casper, keep the water right. Your catchers. Live on the play. Live. Clipping. Clipping on the offense? Offense. We knew it was going to be. Live on the play. Right. Ball start. Offense. Offense. Your name, well, that's a mistake. So it's a negative 25. And you know, it's going to be 12 to 17 and 11 to 8. Clemens with 11 yards, tripped up, and up in 6. So Robbie Bosco here. First down. First down. Bosco, 14 yards in that one. 39. And the ball second of the time. Live on the play. Five. Holding. Defense. First down. Defense holding. That's two minutes for our team by you against the Notre Dame. We should not have done that. First down. And first down, Bosco gets it to the Notre Dame four yard line. Game set match and the 
73 grade A rating average school, we must gain and we'll move on to the final 32 BYU Rock Hill for America. The Bullies, they bully. Two touchdown runs for Notre Dame. He does his job. Robert Bosco kind of did his job in a sense. The passing game went to BYU, but the running game went to Notre Dame. So Notre Dame basically had everything going for them. Final score 24 14. So Wayne Bullock does his job. 24 14. Bosco ran for a touchdown halfway through the second quarter. They finally scored points. And then Bullock touched down. Then Smith ran it in 14 7. And then Bullock ran it in 14 14. And then Notre Dame scored 10 points at the end of the in the fourth quarter. Um, Bosco 12 for 24, 151. No touchdowns or interceptions. Mamuli ran for 83 yards. Uh, Mills had the best receiving. Notre Dame, Clemens, 6 for 10, 1 interception, 125. The yardage went to Bullock, 61 yards. The Marley caught 4 balls for 96 yards. So now we'll go with LSU, Michigan. <laughs> LSU is the favorite. They are quite the favorites in the 58 squad. Led by Billy Cannon, Johnny Robinson, and Max Fulton. And this night, the first time I'm watching the team, Len Ford, Buck, Philly, and Bob Checklist. This year, Tech first team in Michigan. And we'll get them all at the 35 yard line. Well, then we've done bounce. It's at the 30 yard line. Bob Chippius, your quarterback. Jack Weisenberg from Henry Fond and Pete Elliott for running backs to start. Bob Mandic, Herb Lomisky, all that. 47, uh, Michigan, offensive line. Bill King, Tomasi, Wake, Wilkins, and Kudura. You see their defensive line. Al Wister there. Bob Elliott and Pete Elliott. Let's see, you see their offensive line. Max Oakler. Defensive line. Um, Hendrix, Luke Long, Strange, Mayhem. Rodno, Oogler, Davis, Linebackers. And the defensive backs of Cannon, Rab, Mofu, and Robinson. Okay, play calling. Okay, that's how you do it. Alright, so let's take a little sip for your time in that room. I'm going to check this. First down. Oh, first down by Ford. Let's pass the Ford at the 40 yard line. And second to nine. First down. First down. by man, getting 19 yards. So play call. Let's have a look here. Next play is for Ford Elliott. 20 yards, second and six. I'm out. I'm out. LSU have to take a timeout on defense. Next play is check this. Hit hard, but he does not want to leave the game. So it'll be third and five, and LSU third and five. And oh, the ball's punched loose, and then at the first down, Johnny Robinson makes the ball back to LSU. Warren Rapp, your running back, your quarterback, Billy Cannon, Johnny Robinson, Tommy Davis, and the it's a backfield, Mickey Mayhem, and Don Norwood. Ends. Let's play. No way. I saw that coming. And eight yards for Cannon. Third and two. And Rodgers. That's the first down. So now uh, let's just keep the 37 yard line. And Robinson, three yards. Second and seven. First down. Perfect. No, never know his purpose if they call him. Like clipping. Offense. Offense. Usually that's what happens. Clipping the offense is he will lose 10 yards. This one's funny. And 7 yards. Good work. Good job. 713. And 6 yards. So 107. And fourth and five, so those are must punt. Michigan will be picked at their 14 yard line. Right, like, personal foul. Uh oh. 
defense. First down. Yeah, Actually, low scoring. It was three nothing. Third quarter, LSU scored, and then Kempfor in a pick six. Cannon scored a touchdown run, and then Hendricks on a pick six. Rab went two for four, 28 yards, one interception. Mathieu went for three, eight yards. The passing game, Chappis just couldn't do it. He got picked up twice, once for a pick six. So you see the numbers and all that. All right, let's go with Florida, Penn State next. 
And right now, the 08 Florida team has a 10 point, is favored by 10 points against 86 Penn State. We got Tim Tebow, Brandon Spikes, and the Bouncy Boys versus Jen Conley and Dan Morgan of the 86 Penn State team. 08 Florida winning the BCS title game with Mr. Kiba and the 86 Penn State squad winning the Fiesta Bowl over Miami, who are a little too confident. The toss. Florida will kick to Penn State. Penn State will get the ball at the 31. John Schaefer, your quarterback. With DJ Jones, your Steve Smith in the offensive backfield. St. Louis, in coach. And Bob Roscoe, your receivers. Florida's offensive line. The bouncy, defensive line. Cunningham, Marsh, Sanders, Tratu. Hicks, Spikes, and Stanford linebackers, Hayden, Black, Wright, and Jenkins. And Schaefer will go four yards, second and six. And third five. First down. Ah, first down, Schaefer. It's a long yard, so we're going to go for the first down. Nice job by PJ Dillizzi. The ball goes north to 35. And those will get smothered by the end of the screen. Five. Five. Two points. And that's a foul, so Florida has to play. Half the distance to the goal line, so it's at the six yard line. Claire Thomas will run it. I think he got it. Go back. DJ goes here. Not be mentioned at tight end. And for Penn State on the offense and the defense. The offensive line, Johnson, Russo, and White. Linebackers, Graham, Bauer, Twinlum, and Gethopolis, who had that famous interception that gave Penn State the national title player. Coates, Fox, Henderson, and Lizzo, and Johnson are on the And it'll be fourth and three, but because we see a touchdown, we're going to go to five two minutes. Live on the play. Ball start. Offense. Offense. Ooh, boy. Now, Florida's back up now. It's 41 28. It's a close game between these two teams. I think Florida's going to do something. First game. First game. And the 18, they don't really take their time out today. First down. First down. 15 yards, one out. Third, 15 yards, one out. They're at their 33, one down. First down. First down. One down. One down. So Florida is at their four. It's about 34 yards. They can keep it. Try to tie. And... Nope. Lou Murphy thought he had the ball, but no. And Tebow, ouch. Kim Johnson gets him. Third and 17. And it works, so it's 4 for 9. Can they do it? They won't! Riley Cooper fighting at the ball, but it won't. And Penn State, the East at Squad, will be moving to the final 32. The way forward will have to wait and see. Penn State wins! PJ goes here. The ball goes here. The two touchdown wins for Penn State. He does his job. Florida gained him in passing direction, but still, 
the scoreboard tells the difference for a 31 28. That's what happens. The two biggest numbers are what's on the scoreboard. So Dozier ran with a touchdown and then Rainey tied it at seven with a touchdown run. Steve Smith touchdown 14 7. More touchdown run for Florida. Dozier made it 21 14 at the half and then Manka field goal. Phillips field goal, and then Hamilton from Schaefer make it 31-17. Florida scored 11 points in the final, but with four minutes left, they couldn't score what didn't matter. T-Bill, 17 for 28, 298, passing a touchdown and interception. Schaefer, 8 for 17, 162, touchdown and interception. So, yeah, Harvin, 156 yards on the ground uh, receiving. All right, so next will be 69, Penn State against 90, Georgia Tech. <laughs> 69 Penn State, favored by three points against the Georgia Tech. We want a contentious half national title in 91. Because Colorado cheated their way to their half national title. Michael Coleman, Sean Jones, Ken Spilling, the Green Guys, Penn State, the Mill Smith, Mike Green, and Jones Lightness. The 69 Penn State squad ticked off because Richard Nixon, the president, declared Texas national champion. Penn State will kick first. Georgia Tech will take the ball at the 24. Sean Jones at quarterback. William Dell and Jake Wright will start running back. Emmett Merchant, Bobby Rodriguez, who are winning the wide receivers, Anthony Rice for tight end, and offensive line for Georgia Tech. Jenkins, Laban, Chubbs, Sufri Moody. For 69 Penn State, their defensive line. Gary Hall, Steve Smear, Mike Reed. And John Ebersole, linebackers are on kits, Cates, Ham, and Smith, the great Jack Ham. Johnson, Smith, and Landis are the defensive backs. And we have some more for Jones. Live on the Illegal shift. Offense. Offense. That's what usually happens. So Jones got kicked off with the rules, but it's in the game. And three yards, third and five. What a job. Martin gets the ball, so it's now first and ten at the midfield three. First down. And first down. Average with the ball, so 13 yards there. And right gets three yards, so that's up. Third and one. First down, Bell gets the first down. And Jack Ham saw that ball and then took that. And Bell for Woods. And six. First down. And first down, what a pass by Jones to Edwards. He's now at the 15 for Penn State. And first down. He gets the right. So it's the first and goal of the five. Right on the play. Offense. Well, the touchdown's taken off the board. So Georgia Tech is mad at themselves. They had seven points there. And three yards, so second and goal is 12. And nope, third and 14. Oh, that big old passer. Paint State to go to give up. Half a distance to the seven. <laughs> Two yards, second and goal. And he's in. Touchdown, Covington. Touchdown, Cat. Penn State, after 13, 
Chuck Burkhart, Penn State, Charlie Pittman, Franco Harris, yes, that, Franco Harris, with Lido Mitchell, yes, that, Lido Mitchell. So Penn State has a good running back, Franco Harris from Pittsburgh, Lido Mitchell from Buffalo. Hey, Johnson, Greg Emmons, your pants. Defensively for Georgia Tech, you have McCleary, Battle, and Rudolph. And then that's Lyle Williams, Calvin Tico, who played for Hamilton for many years in the CFL. Coleman and Williams. And your defensive backs play both Holmes, Swilly, and Keith Holmes. Your defensive line for the Penn State squad is Jackson, Sapak, Hugo, Hugo, Ryan Smith. First down is played by Pittman. And uh Bernard. Bernard's turn five. And nothing incomplete, so we will go to the back of minutes. First down. Does his job? We are tied at 20, so it's down to the final little bitty. And Bernard, 7 and 6. And Kubota Mitchell, 3rd and 6. That doesn't work. The better punt. So they will punt, and Georgia Tech is now at the 19 yard line. So, yeah, if you get to the 20 yard line, so you get about 60 yards, you're going to set yourself up. Five yards. Seven five. Five on the play. Right. Pass interference. Defense. Defense. Yeah, Penn State botched it. First down. Follow the foul and we're performing away. Five on the play. Five. Defense. Defense. Oh, Jordan Tech. 14 yards, and then Jordan Tech 44, 7 and 5, 1 to 9. First down. At the 20 yard line, they have a chance. They can get the money field goal. They'll go for it from 37, sizing through the wing. Got it! From 6 seconds left, my last field goal from Jordan Tech. My last kick. And that did it. The attack survives. Kevin Tigre does his job. Penn State thought they had everything going. The first overtime, the both teams would get in because of an overtime, but it didn't work. The 90 Georgia Tech team winning 23 20. It's close. A little too close for comfort, but hey, you know what? It works out. So Georgia Tech wins 23 20. Covington got a touchdown pass from Jones, make it 7 0. Burkhardt to Wilson for a touchdown pass in the second quarter for Penn State. Then Mitchell had a touchdown run, but they missed the extra point. Georgia Tech missed an extra point themselves, 13-13. And then Pittman made it 20-13. Size in, oops, Godin? Yeah, 20-20. And then the field goal, size in down the field. Sean Jones, 11 for 20, 146. Touchdown and interception. Oh. That wasn't good. Uh, 69 Penn State. Burkhardt, 7 for 14, a touchdown and two interception. Only 68 yards passing, but it gave a touchdown to Wilson, so it all worked out. The running attack didn't work as well as I thought they would. Just kick the clock. Okay, so we got to get Mosey a little bit. All right, so let's go with Oklahoma and Army. <laughs> Gates, 45 Army, Topo Gates. These guys, you know, with Mr. Richards on the outside, Andrew and Davis, the Dex Coulter. 56 of the home, the top of the young one, Thomas Joe Tubbs. 56 of the home, the last two, from the part of that 47 game, under the 50. Okay, one more kick. To the back Knights, Army gets the ball to the 30 yard line. So Arnold Tucker, the quarterback for Army. Glenn Davis, R. Richard, and Owen Rowan will start. The running back, Mark Goldberg, and Barney Cole. Claire, 
offensive line, Coulter, Green, Eagles, Chiometa, and Namath, Oklahoma, the defensive line, Stiller, Gray, Emerson Bell, Chrysler, Ojeski, and Tubbs, McDonald, Harris, and Clement Thomas. Survives her own fumble, so second and four. And tipped away, third and four. <coughs> First down. Six yards for Chapit. Right. Eight yards for him, second and two. And no. Trying to pass it to Goldberg. First down. First down by Goldberg. Bye, bye, bye. First down. Personal foul. Defense. On the defense. First down. What happens if he has personal foul and they go and give up 12 after 16? And 6 yards for Kyle Hill. Kyle Hill. Kyle Hill. First down. Patrick Pink's ball, so he's at the four year old line. That's something he got shot. I know. Doc Fletcher. I'm shouting your name. running the ball, so you know you're going to win the ball against these guys. So Harvey wins 21-7. Blanchard got a touchdown run. McDonald tied in a touchdown run of his own, but then Blanchard with a pick six, and then Davis ran a touchdown 21-7. They really didn't do too much with the passing game. Everyone just decided to pass the ball out of necessity. Next up is 88 Notre Dame, 39 A&M. And right now the 39 A&M squad with a 9-point favorite against the 88 Notre Dame squad. 
any more game because we have a small scout game. Any hack like this corn breaker, rocket Ishmael, Tony Rice, Michael Jamson. I think an AM with like John Kimball, all the concert, William Q. Jim Thomas and Will and Bill Conister and Jim Kimball. Yeah. Maybe that's Kirby Smith and Howard Count. Offensive yeah. line, panel, Robinette, Vaughn, Hank McCoy. Our game, their defensive line, Flash Gordon. He's Al, Jeff Al, who killed himself. I think he killed somebody. Uh, George Williams and Fred Stamps. Don't break your approach it for linebackers' grabs. I don't know why he's there. Um, it's rough. It's all night. So you tell the screener. Dive on the prey. Ball start. Once Offense. That's what usually happens. I don't know. I can't go five more. Receivers for Jacobs for tight ends. Offensive line for these guys Brown, Bernhard, Height, Ryan, and Heck. Uh, AM, the best of line, Smith, Bobinet, Hennel, and Sterling. Thomason, Pond, Oddish, your linebackers, two of them who come up in Jeffrey, the best of backs. And first down. Oh, what a play by Morgan Game. 
could have kicked three points, but they went and they went for it at the three yard line. Quarter loss, number 14 at the team. Mike, Mike. Offsides. Defense. Oh, it's defensive offsides. Mount Vernon is still alive. Nine of the seven. And up, nope, we're in the level. Now, seven yards here. We're in the level. Right. Defense. Oh, uh, it's worth my time at 15 yards. So, Mark Vernon is giving it the ball on their 25 yard kick. The price. And nothing. So, we're done. Fourth and six at the twenty-one. You keep the field up. <coughs> First down. We tripped up at the seven yard line. Looks like a touchdown for Adam. And Kimbrough, second and goal. Got it! Kimbrough, touchdown, Adam. game. Only 16 points combined. Okay, so our seventh game is 73 Michigan versus 30. Minnesota has a five-point lead over Michigan. Michigan has a Mo Johnson, your ends. 
I need a line. Red Silk, Batman, Grenfell, Coach, and Benson. Michigan's defensive line. Coleman, Trusak, Davis, and Williamson. Straight call, West Del Factor, linebackers. Phil Sutter, Dave Brown, and Dave Elliott for defensive backers. Peters, 
Live on the play. Right. Encroachment. Defense. Encroachment. Can you do that? Five yards. Seven and two. First down. First down. Can you do that? Can you do that? First and ten at the 42. And then. He's going to go over the eight yards. Seven and two. Live on the play. Ball start. Offense. Let's go in the offense. Two seconds and seven. And let's go back to 38. And no. Over the eight. So can you see this play? Yeah, that's why it usually happens. So it's 10 yards, so uh, we have 13 for Oklahoma. Steve Davis, your quarterback, Joe Washington, Jim Lotel, and Greg Project, your running backs, Tigger Owens, and Bill Brooks. We'll start with the receiver, offensive line, Klein, Roush, Davis, Webb, and Arnold, Tennessee's defensive line, Jared Smith, Dr. Nikon, Jasper Kowalski, Hill, Greg Hill, and Sheriff. Live on the play. Ball start. Offense. Well, the 15 Tennessee squad is going to win this game. 34 Oklahoma. Surprise, those guys are like, but the good is, actually, the good is this that only three teams got upset. So 74 Oklahoma, 47 Michigan, and 39 Annie will get in. But the 34 Oklahoma squad, because they were down by 26, they're going to be on the bubble a lot. And I think that's going to be the way it is. Well, there was one other Oklahoma team, but that team lost to the Army, so, you know, okay. so Tennessee will be happy. They're in the quarterfinals. Perfect. 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 They can't score. Tennessee puts up the big SOL percentage. They did their job. Kosar does his job. Sorry for Oklahoma. Won their group. That's why they were home team. Let's get to Tennessee. Let's get to Tennessee wins. So that is that. So, so to wrap it up, 86 Penn State winning by a field goal over the 2008 Gators. 58 LSU shocking. 47 Michigan. 16-7. 73 Notre Dame with a 10-point win over 84 BYU. 50 Tennessee with the shutout of the 74 uh, Sooners. And the 74 Sooners are going to be the team. They're 11, so they'll be on the bubble. They don't have a team yet, so we'll see what the bubble has. Uh, 88 Notre Dame with the big upset, but the 39 A&M squad alongside 47 Michigan. They were the favorites, and they lost, but because they took first place in their groups, they'll get another champ. They'll get in. Uh, 45 Army with a 21-7 win. 90 Georgia Tech with a last-second field goal to win. Third game. And 34 minutes was over with the quarterfinals. So, yeah. So that means the quarters are this. Uh, there is going to be a rain. There's a rain out. Yeah, there's going to be a rain. Rain play and the 73 Irish win over the 50 Tennessee squad 13-10. Yeah, because of rain. We can't do the games. So it's still 86 Penn State will take on 58 LSU. Of course, with rain, we have to do one quarterfinal, and that's 73 Notre Dame taking down number the 1950 Tennessee Bulls, 13-10. 88 Notre Dame will take on 45 Army, and 90 Georgia Tech takes on 34 Minnesota. So it will be a pretty tough quarterfinals, but seeding is important to see who you face, after all. Anyway, I'm Jeff Diamond. I do.